<clears throat> Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. This is our second try trying to record this because uh, I uh, messed up stupidly. But uh, we'll get there, we'll get there. Anyway, uh, I'm joined here by my sister. She says hello. And uh, welcome back. We're going to do some more Spider-Man movies. We finished the rest of the Spider-Man movies. That includes The Amazing Spider-Man 1 and 2, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, and a Spider-Man short. That's not even Spider-Man, Spider-Ham. Yeah. Uh, Peter Porker, if we don't know who he is, uh, we'll review that as well. Also, to give you some updates, uh, the Modoc Hulu TV show. I finished that series, so that will come. I will. I will. I'll put my review on a later date. Um, I did not watch it because it is for adults only. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I. I don't even think I was supposed to watch it. It was pretty bad, mm -hmm. but uh, I watched it anyway. And uh, well, you're a late adult. Yeah, I'm seventeen, but like, still, <laughs> it's got a lot of adult humor in there. Good thing I didn't watch it. Yeah, very good. Also, it was very bloody, too. Like, oh, yeah. very bloody. Uh, I won't give any spoilers about it here, but remember, this is a spoiler warning. We're doing spoilers for this Amazing Spider-Man 1 and 2. Uh, I think it's, what is it called? Uh, Spider-Ham Caught in Ham, which is a two, 2019 short that was made for the Blu-ray of Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, I think. And we're also reviewing the Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse movie, so spoilers out for all those movies. If you haven't watched them, please go watch them and then come back and watch this video. Anyway, uh, also, the What If TV show just ended today, and we're not going to cover that yet because it's still season one. Yeah. And, um, yeah, but we're covering season one here soon, so don't worry. And I'm also trying to figure out what to do with the... The, uh, like with TV shows, because they got multiple seasons. I might do like one season at a time on the tier list, but we'll figure it out when we get there. And also, with the Spider Man stuff, we're not even close. We finished all the movies, now we have all the TV shows. Yep. And there's old ones and new ones, and me and my sister agreed that we're going to watch the old ones first and then the new ones. But then the first movie we got here, whoops, is the Amazing Spider Man movie. Huge. A very big picture. But, movie? Let's talk about it. Sister? Sylvia? Angry Werewolf? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Go ahead and uh, say your thoughts on the movie. Oh, one sec. <clears throat> okay. Um, we forgot. Yeah. We, uh... We were like, we paused for a second to try and like talk it over, and uh. We both forgot. We, what we kind of forgot what happened in this movie, and I think that's a really good statement to say about it. Yeah. If you haven't watched this movie, the first and the second one, a lot, you don't remember, because we've only watched both of them once. Yeah. And it's been like maybe two weeks since we watched them. Mm -hmm. We don't really remember exactly. What happened in these movies? Oh, wait. Uh, that's <clears throat> it. Okay. Uh, we came to another conclusion. We, uh, we remember very little of this movie. Yes. But, still, very this movie, it's a good movie, yes. Andrew Garfield pretty much nailed a kind of creepier version of Peter Parker, I would say. Yeah. But still, like a teenager kind of thing. I don't know. The writing for this movie, I have to say, was all over the place in, in some times. And that even goes with the sequel, too. So we'll add that on to Amazing Spider-Man 2. His, uh, the part where, um... Grandpa, I think? Uncle. Uncle died was still sad. Yes. Very sad. He still is like, I, I caused my own uncle's death because of that guy and he went on a rampage to find that one guy. And I don't even think he ever found him. No. Like in the Tobey Maguire movies, he did find him. And killed him by mistake? No, he didn't kill him. Oh. He injured him badly. Very badly. Very and then the guy got arrested. Yeah. But remember the guy? That wasn't even him. Spoilers again, by the way. 
Um, Sandman was the one that accidentally killed him, remember? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I feel sorry for Sandman's daughter. I agree. Uh, we don't even know what happened to them. No, no. But, <clears throat> spoilers again, if you saw the Spider-Man Far From Home or No Way Home trailer, you know that we saw Sandman in it, but we don't know if it's the Sandman from the Sam Raimi universe. Yeah. We all hope it is, though, because we got Doc Ock. Yep. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah. Also, the bad guy, the lizard. Yep. I think he was a cool villain. He didn't... Yeah. It was a very unique look for the lizard, also. Mm-hmm. Because he looks very different than what he does in the comic books. Oh, um, the deleted scene part where he, like... The Green Goblin dude um, went to this high school bathroom. The deleted scene of that is very awkward and oh, yes. cringy. That's not Green Goblin, that's the lizard. Lizard, I mean. Sorry. Yeah, where the lizard comes out of the toilet, one of the deleted scenes for it. It's a deleted scene, yes, but... Oh my god, what were they thinking? Right? Okay, like, so... If you guys know what I'm talking about, like, you know how yes. bad and weird it was. And the thing was, it was green screened, but the human person was still there doing the lick thing. It was just like, uh, that must have been so uncomfortable for everyone there. Yeah, so basically there was two girls um, against a wall, and the green goblin was like... Yeah, and like, licking them. Yeah. It is weird. So, we came to the conclusion for this movie to be in good. good. It's... Not I that don't. Bad, not that good. It's like, yeah, it's like, it's below average. I could say that. Yeah. To kind of emphasize on this, great is average. Yeah. Like it's really good, but it's like not average amazing. Good. Oh yeah. But yeah, it's not like super amazing. But uh, yeah, we're putting, we're putting, we're locking it in place. Amazing Spider-Man one goes right there. Official. Whoa, that this off. is even bigger. This picture is even bigger. All right, Amazing Spider-Man two had a lot more villains. Yes. Were they good villains? Kind of. Yeah. Rhino, as you can see right there, we barely saw him. Yep. We saw him for maybe like one scene. Green Goblin, very very different. Yeah. Very different. Electro, also very different from what he looks like in the comics, but I have to say the story for Electro was actually really good. Yes, I like Electro better than all. Yeah. Plus, it was also really late at night when we watched it, and Sophia had fallen asleep, so she didn't get to see the part where Gwen Stacy... Spoilers again. Died. Oh, she died? She died. Oh. Yep. Ew. Yep. We're probably going to have to watch it again, so that way you could see it. Because the way she died is sad. I won't spoil oh. it for you... But if everyone else, my God, we're also gonna, we're also uh, maybe one sec. We're this is this is a first for the channel and everything. Mm -hmm. One sec. Let's make sure that it's the right size. Oh, one sec. That made it too small. There we go. <clears throat> Amazing Spider-Man Two isn't great. Yeah. Not good. It was. A l it was better. It was like an average. Very bad. If the first movie, Amazing Spider-Man 1, was like this, I would have liked it more. Yeah. I would have liked it more. But honestly, the characters, again, still very weird writing. But I liked it more. And, um, yeah. The next movie we got is spider Whoa. Oh. Now, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. If you guys haven't watched this movie, what are you guys doing? How are you Marvel fans? But at the same time, it's respectable because yeah. you get busy. But anyway. Sorry, I accidentally cut out. What were you saying? It used to be on Netflix. Yep, it used to be on Netflix. They got rid of it. Everyone got mad. Yep. <clears throat> now, this movie was amazing. It was, like, it introduced so many different versions of Spider-Man that we never really got to see in TV shows and comic books. Yep. Or movies, but a lot in comic books. Some of these characters, like Penny Parker, barely showed up in the comic book. The anime girl. The anime girl, yeah. And, like, this movie was really, really good. The story was amazing. The visuals for everything was amazing. His poor uncle. Yeah. 
And spoilers again, his uncle was the villain, the Prowler. Yep. And when he realized that he was beating up his own nephew, he stopped. And, like, he was put in a real tough position. Yes. Because, like, when he let go of his, like, he let go, he got shot. Yep. He got shot and killed by Kingpin. And it really did open the Spider-Verse up for a yep. lot of people. And that's why we're putting this movie in the best. Because it is downright one of the best Spider-Man movies in existence. And now, to end off the video, we got Spider... Whoa, everything's so big. We have Spider-Ham caught in a ham. Now, this was a short, like, short video that they put as, like, a bonus feature in uh, Spider-Man... Uh, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. And I have to say, it was pretty good. Yeah. And we, we, we put it in great, because it was great. Yeah. And, um, yeah, it just, like, followed Spider-Ham beating up some, like, evil scientist. And, um, yeah, it was very nice. But that will do it for today's video. If you did enjoy, please leave a like, comment of what movies or stuff you want us to review next and we might listen we might i don't know <laughs> sorry she's giving me a dirty look anything you want to add no i'm pretty sure that's it okay and um yeah you'll see two videos pop up on screen uh they're cool yeah uh uh, goodbye. Bye.